the ultrafiltration system at St Mary's uses hollow membrane fibres to remove suspended solids, bacteria and viruses from the tertiary treated wastewater. Each membrane fibre has millions of microscopic pores. Each pore is about 0.02 of a micron in diameter. A human hair is about 75 microns in diameter. These membrane fibres sit in cells filled with tertiary treated wastewater, also called feed water. Pumps draw the filtered water or filtrate through the microscopic pores into the fibres themselves. The pores act as a physical barrier. Only filtrate can pass through the pores. Unwanted materials, suspended solids, bacteria, viruses and pathogens like Cryptosporidium and Giardia are left behind. The membranes are arranged horizontally into modules. Each module contains 30,000 membrane fibres held by resin at each end. The membrane fibres connect to a single common module header. This is where the filtrate is collected. Two plastic shrouds encase the sides of the module. The shrouds protect the fibres and draw the feed water upward through the modules. Three membrane modules are loaded vertically to form a stack. Each stack has its own filtrate collection pipe. This design limits the number of individual connections in the system. There are 16 stacks, or 48 membrane modules, loaded into one cassette. A cassette is an assembly of membrane stacks. There are four cassettes arranged in one cell. There are six ultrafiltration cells. The design maximizes filtration efficiency. Tertiary treated wastewater from the feed water balance tank is pumped to the ultrafiltration strainers. The ultrafiltration strainers remove solids, such as weeds and plastics, from the wastewater before it enters the ultrafiltration system. Stack collection pipes carry the filtered water, or filtrate, to a single manifold header on the top of each cassette. Feed water is continually pumped to maintain a constant level in the cells. The St Mary's ultrafiltration system produces 58 million litres of filtrate every day. This filtrate is then sent to the reverse osmosis system for further treatment. After a period of operation, the fibres become blocked by the retained particles. This restricts the flow of water. The fibres are cleaned through cycles of backwashing and chemical cleaning. Backwashing pushes some of the filtrate through the manifold header into the cassettes and through the membrane pores to dislodge any stuck material. The backwash cycle removes particles blocking the membrane fibres. The backwash cycle occurs every 20 to 30 minutes in one cell at a time to allow the other cells to continue working. In addition to backwashing, chemical cleaning cycles remove any material still stuck to the membranes. Each cell is drained and its membranes are soaked in a cleaning solution for several minutes. This solution is then drained and flushed from the cell before the regular ultrafiltration cycle begins again. Chemical cycles occur every 24 hours in one cell at a time. The used cleaning solutions are treated and returned to the start of the wastewater treatment plant, along with the removed materials and contaminants.